Now, continuing our team coverage, you go to Nicole D'Antonio. Nicole's talking to community members about what's being done to help the victims of this explosion. Nicole? Hey there, Matt. Well, that is one big focus today is on helping those families. Just heartbreaking to think about as they wake up this morning without a home. Nearly two dozen families waking up this morning. All of them have been offered a place to stay at the Borough Activity, uh, rather the Borough Park Activity Center, which is only about three miles from where we are standing right now. But there's been a lot of resources available here in the area, including we've seen Red Cross show up in this area. Also within the last 24 hours, we've seen local businesses show up dropping meals for the families families impacted. Also fire crews helping these families to retrieve belongings inside of the apartments to help them get to safety. Several volunteers from the community also showing up to drop off much needed items, both for those families, also for the volunteers. So we've really seen the community come together out here to support those families. Again, at least 12 people injured in this condo explosion and collapse. Two of those are in critical condition this morning. And as this investigation now continues into what started this fire, neighbors say they are heartbroken for the families who lost so much just before the holidays. It, these things are really, you know, horrible to, to see. There's a lot of people without a home right now. We're in shock that this happened. I never experienced this before. Now remember, just for perspective here, this is the second apartment building collapse and fire just in the last year. We covered back in March at the Friendly City apartment complex where we know that 14 people were injured there. Just like in that apartment collapse, we saw the community really come together. That's what we are seeing now happen for this uh, behind us. So for you, if you would like to help, we know that the Montgomery County Housing Partners, they are donating 100% of donations coming in to help these families. If you would like to help support them, we do have a link on our website site WSA9.com. Uh, but guys, as we send things back inside to you again, just devastating to think here we're going into the holidays. So many families waking up without a home this morning. No doubt our thoughts and prayers are with everyone involved. Nicole, thank you for that. Now, when you see events like this, it raises questions like what if, especially if you live in an apartment or a condo building.